reporting outside the special meeting of the Jersey City Board of Education. There were multiple speakers here tonight, some who spoke in favor of Ms. Kathleen McCabe to be reinstated as the principal of McNair Academic High School, while at the same time there were speakers who said that she was a bad influence among teachers and students and she should not be reinstated. I have a sister-in-law who lives in Cranford and right about August when we discovered that Ms. McCabe would be our principal. Cranford um, let her go. And during, a bar during this barbecue that my sister-in-law had, a parent from Cranford, you know, I had the chance to talk to them and I said, well, we got your principal. And she looked at me and said, good luck. So McCabe started in September of that year and I was elated, I was excited, I was very happy and I was her number one fan. And then I started to see things. And I didn't believe it until one day I was uh, coming into the building and I saw her reprimanding a teacher in the front steps. And then as soon as she saw me, it like she jekyll and Hyde, like the teacher ran in the building. I approached Ms. McCabe and she was like, good morning. And I said, good morning, how's your day gonna go? And I said, it's gonna go good. And I go upstairs and I see the teacher crying. She's waiting for me in my classroom crying. This is not the first time it happened to this teacher. This was the third time. During a meeting, you know, with this teacher uh, for mediation, um, the, the, Ms. McCabe was questioning her about her lesson, and the teacher just asked the question, and Ms. McCabe proceeded to respond, well, I went to Brown University, and I know what I'm talking about. And at that moment in time when she said that, the teacher just broke down, started crying, and she ran out of the office. This teacher, the only African-American teacher in the social studies department left. What do you make of or your response to what we heard from the contrasting viewpoint that we heard from speakers here this evening who said that, well, no, she's been a very negative influence in the schools and, and because of that, teachers are uh, leaving because they don't want to work under her uh, principalship. Well, what's your response to that? Um, that is of great concern to me as a parent because certainly the teachers um, play a very significant role in the success of our students. Where would our students be without excellent, happy teachers who are working in an environment where morale is high? So I'm actually very happy that the teachers brought this to our attention, but there has to be a way to cope with this problem uh, aside from just taking the principal away. I don't see how that really solves the problem. And who's to say that this problem won't occur with the replacement principal. I don't think that this is a solution. I think there has to be a way for uh, the principal and the administrators and the teachers to come to some sort of a mutual understanding uh, of how things should be done, perhaps some way to foster better communication. But firing a principal who clearly has brought a lot of positive um, outcomes for the school, I just don't think is an answer. Mark Boosman reporting in Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.